early start today. I'm gonna try to get some early sunlight shots. See how the filters do with that uh, that golden hour morning. private peach. I just can't stop. I think I got issues. Tell me I can't do something. I gotta stop that out. I'm not a juvenile. But we are starting to get a little more crowded on Rhode Island as the phases go up and the uh, the pandemic is going down. They're gonna be upholding these laws and rules a little bit more stricter but while I'm out here today it is gorgeous. All right. So we're talking about the Polar Pro filters on the Mavic Air 2. Now, I shot this video. I've been flying with them for about a week, but I shot this video over the last couple of days. So it's going to bounce around a little bit just to get all my points across and, and everywhere I took it. I am amazed. I am absolutely amazed by this drone. But uh, the, the, this, the videos and the pictures I've been getting with these Polar Pros, the convenience of having the variable into one filter and... The nice thing about Polar Pro filters is when they make it to fit, they make it to fit solid and with ease of use. I've had other uh, ND filters for other drones and stuff, and it just, it, it, it's difficult to get on. My first set of ND filters I bought for the Mavic 2 Pro, which is the same design as the Mavic here, it didn't fit on well at all. It didn't line up. I think they were free will, and I hated them. Then I went and got the Polar Pro for the Mavic 2 Pro, fit on rock solid. Same thing with these. They, they fit on nice and easy, but they lock on nice and crisp and tight. Uh, the dynamic range that I'm getting out of these, I, I've already started uploading some previous days into my computer. And I'm very happy with the, uh, with the picture quality, dynamic range uh, that I'm getting out of these ND filters. Definitely worthwhile. I never tell anybody how to spend their money, but if you are looking into a drone for the money, the $7.99 that this drone can do, it, it's amazing. The $79 for these ND filters, I gotta tell you, I'm very happy with this purchase. It's the two lens uh, package. It's got nine stops, two through five, six through nine. I, I've been using the two through five a lot more than the uh, than the darker one, but I don't know. I can see myself in some situations where it's very strong light needing the darker one. Uh, but that the, the, the two through five one, I'm getting a lot of good quality out of that. So, all right, so let me show you around. Let me show you some of the things that I've been shooting. And uh, again, this video, I'm going to be talking from uh, a couple days ago, back, forth, left, right, whatever. But check it out. Let's see what we see. Okay, so apparently about, I don't know, 50, 60 feet over from me trespassing, there was a legit passage in and out to this beach. Who knew? See, that's where we were last time. Cutting through, causing trouble, being in trouble. I started off using it earlier today with the higher stops in the uh, the mid hot day sun flying over Dutch Island. Let me show you a little bit how the uh, the Polar Pro ND filter performed in the most extreme conditions. 
when you really shouldn't be uh, trying to get videos and, uh, and pictures. Check it out. these polar pro filters i'm already feeling like i'm getting much better video quality out of it picture quality obviously nd filters have that effect on any kind of a camera but especially one without an aperture available uh, adjustability absolute necessity now i don't pretend to be any kind of a, a, a professional videographer or photographer i've stated in all my previous videos but i do know the importance of nd filters we're trying to get as much dynamic range out of the video quality as possible. And Polar Pro is just one of those companies that I've used with all my other camera gear, drones. Um, I know I used the Yolanzi for the uh, the GoPro Hero 8, and that's only because Polar Pro didn't make one that fits with the, uh, the Media Mod, or it's be all over that one as well. So, it is so beautiful out here on Ocean Drive. You know, for a real well-to-do area, these roads aren't really that smooth. It's a vibration nightmare. My feet are nice getting a nice little massage right now, but um, now they're starting to itch. Not too good. Let's get back to flying. Okay, so now we're on the East Bay bike path out in East Providence, looking over downtown Providence. We're at Golden Hour. Now we're going to test out the uh, the two through five on the, the lightest setting, and just see what kind of uh, videos we can get out of the Mavic Two Air with these. That is one of the biggest dragonflies I've ever seen. All right, look, so that's it. That's all I got for today. Very impressed with this. I'll be using these uh, these filters all throughout the summer and for the life of this, uh, this drone. Very impressed. So if you like the video, give me the old thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Later.